As college football rivalries go, this is one of the granddaddies of them all, Kentucky against Tennessee in a series dating all the way back to 1893. Beautiful day for football here in the bluegrass. Anyway, we've got a lot of wind with a kicker, so he ought to be able to get it to the end zone. Gaylor gets this one about three yards deep, and Freddie Williams is not going to run it out. Kentucky will take over on the offense from the 20-yard line. Derek Ramsey over center, Will Grant. Joe Dupree trying to pick his way up the middle, and he got just a couple. Dennis Wolf will alternate at one of those outside spots, number 34. Second and eight now. This is Randy Brooks on the sweep. He's got Dornbrook in front of him, tries to cut it back up inside and gets nowhere. In fact, a loss of a yard. He had 20 tackles against Kentucky last season. That's number 53, Greg Jones. Third and long yardage for Kentucky now. Nine to go for a first down. The draw play gets nothing, and Kentucky in a punting situation. Kevin Kelly on to punt for Kentucky. Averaging 40 yards of boot on the year. This one is not too long. Bounces out of bounds near the midfield stripe. So great field position. Tennessee begins this drive in Kentucky territory at the 49-yard line. 13-26 showing on the Commonwealth Stadium clock. Jimmy Streeter is the quarterback. He gives it straight up the middle and not much there. Jesse Briggs starting at the fullback spot for Tennessee. Number 31, Kelsey Finch is the other running back, 36. Straight back to throw. Jimmy Streeter has his tight end, Reggie Harper, at the 40-yard line. He now has 25 catches on the season. It's third and two, Tennessee. Up the middle they go to Jesse Briggs, and he has enough for the first down. It's first and 10, Tennessee, on the 37-yard line. Jimmy Streeter on the option, keeps it himself, and gets up to the 32-yard line. Give Streeter a game of four, make it second and six now. Fumble, and Streeter has to fall out on himself. Third down, seven yards to go now with 10.49 showing on the clock. Streeter to throw again. Art still on the rush, and he nailed it. Jim Gaylor on now to attempt a 57-yard field goal. He's 8 of 13 on the season. Looks like it's going to be short. And off to the right side. But flags are down. Penalty against Kentucky. Offsides. Billy Arbo will hold. Let's make it a 52-yarder. It's no good. This one was off to the left, and the other one was off to the right. Ten minutes remaining in the first quarter here at Commonwealth Stadium. Greg Nord switching uh, positions there, going to the other side of the line, the tight end for Kentucky. Ramsey on the option, pitches it back to Freddie Williams, who juggled it and is knocked out of bounds. On second eight, Tennessee jumps. I think it's Kentucky's left tackle that drew him, and that's a good call by the officials. He made a boo-boo there and has made it a second to 13 situation for Kentucky. 9.53 to go, first period. Randy Brooks got back to the 19-yard line. They're fired up, and it's going to be a fine ball game. Third and 11 with Felix Wilson wide to the left. Let's see if Kentucky goes to the air. Well, again, the defense jumped. Let's see what the story is this time. Turnbow kept right on going toward Ramsey. Now he's having a discussion with Tommy Dornbrook. We're going to have Tennessee offside this time. Uh, their lineman jumping. I didn't see that's right. It's Tennessee offside. Well, let's make it third and six now with the ball on the 24-yard line with 9.15 to go first period. Ramsey rolling left. He's going to run it. First down, Kentucky. First down with a lot of running to do it. From the 33, Dupree up the middle. And he runs as he always does with Felix Wilson now out wide to the right side. Plenty of time for Ramsey. Uses a good block from Freddie Williams and got the, a couple of more to the 39. Prosper split out just a few yards to the right side. Everybody else in tight. Ramsey takes it to Dupree, pitches wide to Brooks. Knocked out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Junior Reed came up from his corner. A big rush. Kelly gets it away and goes down in a heap. No flag. Okay, so it's Kirchbaum and Martin manning the linebacking spot. 
Jesse Briggs on the carry for Tennessee. Got across the 35 to about the 36. Briggs and Finch are the setbacks behind Jimmy Streeter. Streeter pitching back to Kelsey Finch. Put on a good move. Open field in front of him. Finally drug down at the 45 in Kentucky Territory. Kelsey Finch again. Diving forward to the 40-yard line. Second and five now. Briggs up the middle. Jeff Moore wide to the left side now. And Arbo in the slot to the left. play again back to Kelsey Finch Larry Carter upended him just short of the 30 yard line first and 10 from the 30 Streeter faked the pitch to Finch that time kept it himself and got just a yard a long pass play from Dallas Owens to Greg Woods the only score in that ball game Streeter to Finch again. Owens again came up to make the hit. Quick count. Briggs running hard across the 20-yard line, enough for the first down. In the center, Robert Shaw, 56, one of the best in the conference. On first and 10 from the 18 now. Streeter on that option, runs it oh so well. Look at those quick feet down at the five-yard line. First and goal from the five. Streeter again, just diving forward for perhaps a yard. Darbo comes wide to the left. Jeff Moore wide right. Two setbacks behind Jimmy Streeter on second and goal. Streeter pitches it back. Finch fumbled the football, but dove on in for the touchdown. Tennessee has lit up the scoreboard first at Commonwealth Stadium with 2.14 to go on the first period. Tennessee leads 6 to nothing on the touchdown by Kelsey Finch. He has to be a fine football player. Jim Gaylor, who's 18 of 18 from the year, not going to get a chance at this one. Gaylor picks up the football, and he's put down. Well, Tennessee had a strange lineup, then. I don't know what they were planning on doing. Well, it's timeout in Lexington with the score. Tennessee six and Kentucky nothing. 63 yards then and about five minutes and 16 seconds. So they're ready to play. Out she goes. Dallas Owens, the big, valuable senior quarterback, marking signals. Joe Dupree scrambling for all he can. He's got about four yards from Dyersburg, Tennessee. Second and seven now. Ramsey threading his way across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Another freshman, Clark Duncan, at the safety spot. Ramsey throwing for Felix Wilson. He's got him for a Kentucky first down. Wilson knocked out of bounds with just a minute showing on the scoreboard clock here in the first period. First and 10, Kentucky. Joe Dupree fumbled the football, got it back. He just reached up over his shoulder pads while alternating with Trosper. He's been a valuable receiver. Second and 10 from the 38. Joe Dupree gets up to the 40, and that's all. So it'll be third and long yardage for Kentucky here. That's the end of the first period with the score. Tennessee six and Kentucky nothing. Derek Ramsey always seems to find a way to make that crucial first down when the Cats need it. Let's see what he can pull out of the hat here. Two blockers in front of him. Ramsey cuts up inside. Has enough for the first down. He's done it again, Tommy. Yep. Felix Wilson goes wide to the right now for Kentucky with the ball in the 45-yard line. Tennessee territory. Joe Dupree running hard, still on his feet, finally brought down at the 31-yard line. And you can tell the way the fans are reacting, too. They were pretty quiet for a while. First and 10 from the 31. Ramsey on the roll. Look at him ramble. Knocked out of bounds. Close to the 15-yard line. Jim Noonan had to get there. 14.04 to go, second period. Randy Brooks slicing into the line. 
pushed back by Big Jesse Turnbow. Good shot at the offensive line. Tommy Kearns, 75-61, Dan Fowler. Freddie Williams may go all the way. He's in for the touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown gallop by fast Freddie Williams, and Kentucky now has tied it up. That woke the Kentucky fans up, Denny. Williams, when he got to that goal line, get in there between two men. I wish you would watch this run. When he gets to about the four-yard line, there was no denying him. Two Tennessee tacklers hit him hard. Not anything wrong with the tackler. You can't play it any better than that in defense. That's just an extraordinary play by Freddie Williams. Final chapter of that dream together this afternoon. Playing his final game, he put it squarely through the uprights. Kentucky goes in front, 7-6. to six. There's a pause in the action, and we'll be right back. Tidled up on a 15-yard run by Freddie Williams. Joe uh, Bryant's extra point put Kentucky in front. Here's the kick. Moore at the 5. Good hard running back almost to the 30-yard line. Quick look in pass. What a catch by Reggie Harper, the tight end. Now they say no. And second and 10 from the 29 now. Pretty good running by Jesse Briggs as he got to the 33. Possession play, Tennessee, third and six now from the 34. Jimmy Streeter on the option, pitches back to Finch. Nothing there facing one of the best hunters in the nation. Falkett ranks third in the country right now. Oh, Johnny Bow hit hard to 30, somehow bounces out of there, but not much room for him to run and get away. So instead of the 29-yard line, let's spot it at the 44 of Kentucky. I couldn't pick up the Tennessee man that made that late hit on Johnny. Same three backs behind Derek Ramsey with Dave Prosper wide to the left side. Fast Freddie Williams on the run again, and Freddie is having quite a day. He got about nine there with to make it second and three. Clock moving at 11.34. This is Ramsey. A first down and then so. First and ten Wildcats on the 43-yard line now. That's student body right. Ramsey knocked down after a gain of a couple, but so let's call it second and nine. Joe Dupree pulling his way up the middle. Third and four. Tennessee's Freddie Williams is going to try to get it. Flags are down. Tennessee's right cornerback was offsides. Well, now, Tennessee's had two crucial penalties on him. It didn't look like Freddie Williams did make it. Ramsey on the option to Randy Brooks. Brooks diving forward after the block by Joe Dupree. Now on second and five. The backs of the straight T formation. Joe Dupree, the fullback, gets to the 25-yard line. And it's Wilson wide right now. Trying to draw him off. It's Dupree up the middle. I think the Tennessee man got back, and it's still a first down, though, for the Cats. 9.04 before halftime. Freddie Williams on the carry. He is having himself one fine day. Jim Noonan had to bring him down. But Felix Wilson to the right side. Everybody else in tight. Ramsey to Randy Brooks. Look at that hole. Tommy Dornbrook made a good block, and Brooks took it inside the five. Now they've got Freddie Williams on the wing to the right side. Dupree and Brooks, the setbacks behind Ramsey. This is Joe Dupree for another yard. Joe Dupree very close. The officials are going to mark it about six inches, but if those hands go up immediately, then you know it's in there. Ramsey himself still fighting he got over that was second and third and fourth effort and somehow Derek Ramsey took it in and Kentucky leads now by the score of 13 to 6 Joe Bryant will try to make it 14 with 646 remaining Williams placed down perfectly and kicked through perfectly Kentucky leads 14 to 6 there's timeout in Lexington and we'll be right back 50 yards and 71 yards and that putting it right down the ball's throat. They've got to come back now if they're going to get back in this ball game. Joe Bryant got that one up in the wind, and Gary Moore is not going to bring it back. I believe Johnny Majors will 
throw out all stops, and I believe the Vols will be putting it to Kentucky. This is Nate Sumter up the middle. He got about three. Arbo in the slot to the left side now with Ken Sanderson wide left. Streeter still got it. Art still puts him down. Very hard-nosed football player, Kelly Kirschbaum. Third and three now. Big play for Tennessee. They need some momentum at this point. Jimmy Streeter cuts it back up inside and gets enough for the first down. Richard Jaffe had a shot at him. Five minutes and 19 seconds showing on the clock, and it's running. Nate Sumter, the fullback, diving across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Kelsey Finch on the carry. Richard Jaffe there with uh, Big James Ramey. Third and two. Kelsey Finch hit just as he got the ball by Richard Jaffe. And it's going to be very, very close. He had a 35-yard kick into that wind, and let's see what he does now. A line drive kick that Johnny Bow tries to field, and it's dropped, and Tennessee has the football. Johnny Bow, very indecisive, Johnny. He just didn't seem to know whether to go for it or not. That's the first real break of the football game and the first turnover that I recall. From the 21. Nate Sumter. He's down to about the 18-yard line. On second and seven now. Kelsey Finch, hard running. Jerry Blanton had a hold of him, but Finch just wouldn't be stopped. He got Kelsey Finch again. But it'll depend on what to give him in the way of forward progress. Listen, I expect them to make this first down. Kentucky ranks seventh in the nation in defense. Fans on their feet. Kelsey Finch has got it. He's got it. That was a good call. They're going to have to take it nine yards in here. They cannot get another first down without scoring. Streeter back to Finch. And he's in for the score. Kelsey Finch, nine yards for a touchdown. And Tennessee is back within a point. I want to also uh, give Streeter another uh, pat on the back. He sends Jeff Moore wide to the right side, Arbo to the left. Jimmy Streeter back to Kelsey Finch. In for two. We got a tie ball game. That's the same play they used in to score the touchdown on. And Streeter ran it to perfection again, and so did Kelsey Finch. And there's a pause in the action now with the score. Tennessee 14, Kentucky 14. Here's Gaylor's kickoff. Keeps it on the ground. Freddie Williams at the 15. Freddie almost got outside and got awake to get another one on the board before halftime. Freddie Williams on the carry, trying to dance outside. Not much there for him. Yes, Felix sir. Wilson, wide left. <laughs> Derek uh, Ramsey on that naked reverse. He's got no blockers there. <laughs> on third and one. Freddie Williams, a great open field tackle. Behind the line of scrimmage, Tennessee does not have any more timeouts, so they could just fall down on the ball. Randy Brooks bring it around the corner. As the horn sounds, Greg Jones put the hit on Randy Brooks, and that's the end of the first half with the score. Kentucky 14 and Tennessee 14. Joe Bryant to boot it. Gary Moore at the 10. Trying to get outside. Cutting back up the middle now. Not much room there. Put down. Arbo wide to the right side now. More wide left. Kelsey Finch up the gut. Good hard running across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second and six now. 30 seconds into the second half. Jimmy Streeter, the quarterback, gives to Jesse Briggs. And he's hit and brought down immediately. He either wants a solo or an assist one, Denny. 
Breeder on the option. He's got more than enough for the first down, diving forward across the 35-yard line. Well, I didn't know that uh, he was the JV quarterback, but I can tell you he's a varsity quarterback today. Streeter has still got it. Jeff Hess diving him. Billy Arbo wide to the left side. Jeff Moore split out a few yards to the right. Kelsey Finch on a straight dive. Okay, here we go. Third and inches. Streeter on the keeper, and he's got more than a few inches. First and ten from the 41 now. Streeter on the pitch back to Kelsey Finch. Jerry Blanton chased him down across the way. Kentucky's defense has really been depleted by injuries this season. Tennessee has had its share of injuries also. Second and two now from the 46. And it looks like Briggs has got enough. A quick look in pass. He's got his man, the tight end, Reggie Harper, dragging Rick Hayden with him to the 20-yard line. Tight ends in the Southeastern Conference, although he is just a freshman. First and 10 from the 23. They spotted it at the 23. Streeter back up the gut. Look at him go. Dallas Owens put him down at the 10-yard line. First and ten balls. Kelsey Finch now. Great job of faking by Jimmy Streeter. He pitched it back. Second and six. Arbo very wide to the right side. Everybody else in tight. Good tackle by Kelly Kirchbaum there. Kentucky jump. And I believe it's going to be a penalty, an illegal motion against Tennessee. So third and ten now, very costly penalty. Streeter to throw. Owens on a blitz. Dallas Owens was coming. He got a hand on him, and then Richard Jaffe made sure of it. Now from the 29, make it a 39, well, closer to the 38-yard field goal. No good. The second time that Gaylor has been within his range but missed today. Seven minutes and 51 seconds to play in the third period now with Kentucky in their power formation. Everybody in tight. Randy Brooks on the carry and look at him go across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Second and three now from the 27. Nothing fancy by Kentucky here. Two tight ends. Freddie Williams on the carry. Stood him up and pushed him back at the 30. Chris Bolton, I think he's uh, won himself a spot. Going to be around there for a long time. Joe Dupree, with his usual hard running, still surging forward. Bringing this Kentucky team up to here. Second and six now, Wildcats. Ramsey's still got it. Look at him drag tacklers with him across the 40-yard line for another Kentucky first down. Roland James had to make a saving tackle. Felix Wilson in now. He's wide to the left side. Straight up the gut. Joe Dupree bounces off a couple of tacklers, and the whistle had blown. Joe was out in the open field, and the fans don't like it. Nord split out of several yards to the right. Freddie Williams on the counter play, and look at him go. The Kentucky runners. Here's another one of those crucial third downs. It's third and five, and this will be tough to make. On the option, Ramsey cuts it back inside and dives, and he didn't get enough. Been with him, and he's kicking from his 49. This is a good time to get a good one away. He hit it pretty good. Roland James at the 12. Madrowski was down there first, and they put him down at the 11. And now uh, the Tennessee Vols go on the attack. Kelsey Finch on the carry, and on the slant play, he's got about uh, four out to the 14. Although Jerry didn't think it would be a miracle. He said, I'll be there. Straight up the middle, Kelsey Finch across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Big play for Tennessee now. Third down and four from the 17-yard line. Nate Sumter on the pitch back from Streeter. 
close to the first down. Let's see where they mark it. They're playing like a, a great football team, not one that's lost six games. Nate Sumter on the carry. Bounced off of one man and still running up to the 25-yard line. Arbo goes wide left. Jeff Morris put to the right side. Streeter keeps it and brought down by Jerry Blanton. Kentucky's defense was almost caught off balance and Tennessee came out of the huddle so quick. Faked it to Sumter. Oh. Throwing intended for the tight end. He's having to punt into the wind again. He's had that almost all day every time he's kicked. Johnny Bow calling for the fair catch here at the 40-yard line. Full house set for Kentucky now on first and 10 from the 40. Ramsey behind Freddie Williams. Cuts it to the outside. And got about three. Knocked out of bounds. Straight T formation for Kentucky. Two tight ends in the game. Freddie Williams on the carry. Good blocking on that right side. And he's got enough for the first down. They've marked it at the 49-yard line in Tennessee territory. Ramsey cuts it inside and got just a yard. Second and eight now from the 47-yard line. 28 seconds remaining, third period. Ramsey still got it. Knocked down. A great play by Kim Logan. And that's the end of the third period. We'll return with the final quarter of action in just a moment. Kentucky in the double wing slot. Deaton straight back. Well, they were going to throw a little uh, delay draw there. I sure wish he could have caught it. Kevin Kelly just gets it away, goes down again, but no whistle again, no flag. Fair catch at the 20-yard line. He's a very calm coach, normally on the sideline. Yes, Keeps he his is. his demeanor at all times, but uh, his uh, only show of emotion is that throwing of the hat. Right up the middle and not much there. Earl Wilson stood his man up. Streeter has gone all the way at quarterback. Fumble on the play or no. No, he did not. Richard Jaffe just got to Streeter before he could do anything with it. This is third, third and ten. Inning. I'm sorry. Third and ten. Look at that. They got more than enough. deep he's got his man Moore dropped the football Jeff Moore dropped the football he had his man beat him 13 10 to go in the ball game Arbo wide left throwing again intended for Arbo he's got it plenty of room in front of him he got by Dallas Owens finally brought down by Bud Deal at the Kentucky 34 yard line First and 10, Tennessee from the 34. Nate Sumter up the gut. He got three to the 31. Second and seven now. Faked it to Sumter, and Streeter is hit and dropped at the 32-yard line, but Tennessee has two already. They would like to make it three on this drive. Streeter to throw. Hit and dropped behind the line at the 41-yard line. Richard Jaffe will make it a 57-yard field goal attempt. He has the wind with him, and uh, I don't know how far he can kick it, but it's going to be close. That's going to be long enough. It's good. A 57-yard field goal by Jim Gaylor has put Tennessee in front here, 17-14. to 14. There's a pause in the action, and we'll be right back. Minutes and 53 seconds is all that remains to be played in this football season for Kentucky as Gaylor kicks off. Robert Hawkins watches it sail over his head out of the end zone. And, and uh, there, Tennessee's emotionally high, and Kentucky's going to have to play their very best to win it. Chris Hill, number 22, in at left halfback for Kentucky. Deaton on the roll. He's got time. Throwing deep. Wilson is there. Felix Wilson into Kentucky territory at the 45-yard line. Deaton completes the pass. Deaton on the give there to Hill. And I think you're going to see the Cats give the balls all they can have. Second and seven. Randy Brooks on the carry. Hit and driven back at the 40-yard line. I look for Derek to roll out to the right uh, on this play, and it could be a, one of a pass or a run. Derek has got it. 
diving for the first down. Derek Ramsey dove to get it. This is his last game along with 16 other seniors. Ramsey on the rollout. Finally goes out of bounds. The backs are Brooks, Dupree, and Hill behind Ramsey. Chris Hill got a good block from Dan Fowler and took it inside the 25. Both teams have played a great football game. Third and six inches for a first down. Everybody in tight. Joe Dupree for the first down. Wilson wide to the left side on first and 10 from the 22. Ramsey on the quarterback draw, and he got just a yard. If Kentucky has to resort to a field goal, it could be 10. Joe Dupree running off the right side. Look at him push his man forward to the 10-yard line. Roland James brought him down. It's first and 10 at the 11, so they could get another first down inside the uh, two-yard line. This is Dupree, straight up the middle, very hard running. He just pulled his way to almost the five-yard line. Trasper wide to the left side, Nord to the right. Second and five from the six-yard line. It's Dupree again to the one. He's down there close for a first down. And now it's fourth down, or third, third, and, third, and, third and one, excuse me, third and one. Servino for the touchdown. He's been no. pushed back. The uh, referee did not signal. No. It appeared he went over, but let's see. They marked it on about the six inches. Dupre is back in now. First and goal. Ramsey. Ramsey sneaks. There it is. That is a touchdown. Kentucky has gone in front, and the crowd goes absolutely wild. A field goal cannot tie. He made it. 21-17, Tennessee will have to score a touchdown to win. It's timeout, and we'll return with more action following this. 21 to 17, five minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Danny, they took five minutes and 24 seconds doing that, so we're still in a ball game, and anybody can win it. Taken by one of the upbacks at the 20-yard line. Down he goes at the 23. Many of the 57,000-plus fans on their feet now. Streeter off that right side. Hit hard, but not before he got it across the 30-yard line. Tennessee's going to really put it to him. Streeter pitching back to Sumter. Look at him go. Across the midfield stripe. Straight up the gut. Nate Sumter to the 45-yard line. A, a typical Kentucky-Tennessee game, and both teams just playing great. He faked it to Finch. Streeter is down. Here, third and six. One of the big plays of the season, the draw play to Sumter. Tackled behind the line. He got up for about three yards, and that's all. This might be the biggest play of the game right here, Denny, because if Kentucky holds, I believe they're going to win the game. Fourth and four. Streeter to throw. Decides to run it. He didn't get there. Short of the first down. A stack of blue shirts. Earl Wilson is there. Kelly Kirchbaum is there. They're going to have to have a couple of first downs in this drive. Joe Dupree diving across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Chris Hill on the carry to the 45. Don't chance a bad snap, but they've got to get five yards on this play. Ramsey kept it himself. Short of the first down, the ball is fumbled. Tennessee has got it. Ramsey fumbled the football, and Tennessee is going to have another shot. Well, Sumter on the draw play, trying to get wide. Dives to the 40-yard line. A gain of five. They spotted it at the 41, second and six. A minute and a half to play. Streeter throwing to the tight end again. Reggie Harper, he's down all the way down to the 25-yard line. When they stopped him on that fourth play, and here they are right back in it. Kyle Aguilar, 87, in at tight end now for Tennessee. The draw play again to Sumter. He's got some running room and is up to the 23-yard line. Second and six. Streeter wants to throw. 
Now tucks it and runs. The ball is fumbled. Kentucky's got it. Kentucky well, jumped on the football. Kentucky's fans have gone wild. Uh, Look how tightly Kentucky is bunched with the clock running. Tennessee has a timeout left, and they'll take it. 49 seconds to go, and all Kentucky has to do is run out the clock from here. Tennessee out of timeouts. On the sidelines now, the Kentucky cheerleaders are running up and down with the coveted beer barrel, and it looks like it'll stay in Lexington. It has got to be feel like that they've played one of the very finest games for Tennessee. Derek Ramsey. Let's his very large body fall over the ball. The last eight seconds are ticking off the clock now. That's it, Denny. Kentucky has finished up a 10-1 season with a 21-17 victory over the Tennessee Vols and will be right back at Commonwealth Stadium.